everyone and welcome back to my channel I'm doing another collaboration video and this time it's with challenge the wild I had an idea of doing five things that you regret buying for your fish and five things that you cannot live without I thought this was a really fun video to do if you came from the challenges wild channel welcome to my channel I make fish videos I have bunnies hamster and I have a Pomeranian dog and if you guys don't know who challenges the wild is he basically just got into the fish hobby and he is learning still but he is doing so well um, I'm so proud of him <laughs> definitely check his channel out I'll leave his link in the description box below and without further ado let's get on with the video so I'm first going to start with five things that I regret buying for my fish. So this goes towards a betta fish um, and it's basically buying a decoration that has spiky plants. You usually want to buy a silk plants for betas, but um, these plants like this, they might seem soft. If you think that this will rip a hole in a pantyhose, then it's not an ideal decoration for your betta fish. Next, I have a betta leaf hammock. I'm laughing so hard right now because when I talked to Challenge the Wild, because I gave him my list of the five things I regret buying, he saw this and he bought it at the same day and he's like, oh my gosh, I just bought this. Betas don't really use this, so that is why I don't really like buying it. I feel like it's a waste. You should use the that money towards an actual plant because an actual plant can produce oxygen um, give carbon dioxide and all those benefits that your fishes will definitely enjoy but this is just it's a fake leaf with a suction cup save that money to buy an actual plant so it can actually feel like a real habitat for your fish Next, I have a Mopani driftwood. I really love the driftwood itself, but if you actually buy an actual driftwood, make sure to boil it. This was my big no-no mistake. I didn't boil my driftwood. I just put it in hot water for couple hours and I just put in my 60 gallon tank the driftwood I have in my 60 gallon tank they're actually really big because this is a really small size because of that it made my water so brown for like three months and it's still a little bit brown tannins that come off the driftwood it doesn't really harm the fish but it doesn't look as appealing so make sure to boil your driftwood next it's another beta issue and it's a beta fix and a lot of people have used this to cure fins honestly feel like if you just do a regular water change or use a little bit of aquarium salt i feel like that's better because the more medication you use the more harm it can do to your fish than good so that's why i don't really like to use it and i used it before and it really didn't work on my beta fish so it really depends on your beta obviously but since this is medication it's best to not use it than to use it but i mean like if your fish has icks or like some kind of parasites definitely use a medication then so the last regret i bought is the tropical flakes by aquion and i really don't like this because of the ingredients it has it just has a very bad ingredients and there's just alternatives that you can use instead of the aquion tropical flakes so like for example you can get the omega-1 mini pellets and don't just stick with this as well you also have to have some protein in their diet because his fishes they're animals too so i brought some protein foods so i have some brine shrimp blood worms uh, regular shrimp I can't hold everything in one hand um, turbi fix worms by Hikari I definitely recommend this actually I recommend everything here they're all really good <laughs> and then omega-1 veggie rounds so as you can see I'm a huge omega-1 fan but um, don't just stick with omega-1 um, again there's a whole lot of varieties that you can choose from but don't buy the tropical flakes from Aquion it's really bad very bad now I'm going to start with the five things I am so glad I bought or that you should have so I'll first start with the API stress coat so this basically it makes your tap water safe so it also works as a water conditioner but it basically protects your fish 
because um, it has a healing power of aloe vera. It's proven to reduce fish stress and it replaces their slime coat. So I always use this whenever I'm doing a water change and I can definitely see the difference. So definitely get some stress coat. This is actually a 16 Florida ounce, but you can get a smaller one. Get this online rather than buying from Petco, PetSmart, or any other local pet store because it's way cheaper on eBay or Amazon. And speaking of that, definitely get yourself a API test kit like this. This one is the um, more like advanced version. There's ones that has like the little strips, but this one is more accurate. So I feel like if you're thinking of buying it, definitely invest your money to buy this one instead of the strips. So in the back, it just has like all the different coloring of like the ammonia level and like the nitrate, nitrite and it comes with like these little test tubes so i feel like a little scientist every time i play with this i shouldn't say play i should say whenever i'm testing the water <laughs> this is definitely recommended when you're in a fish hobby definitely have a water testing kit next i have i'm sorry it's a little bit dirty um i have an algae scrubber i love it so much compared to just regular sponge because then you would have to like actually dip your whole hand into the tank and then scrub the whole fish tank if there's algae but say like if you have a 60 gallon like me you would need something longer like this is actually short but you would need something longer if you don't want to touch like the dirty water and it's just more like easier to um, scrub off the algae rather than just the sponge. Next, I have Indian almond leaves. So again, I am going back to the betta fish. This is very awesome for the fish because if you put this in the tank, it makes their habitat feel like natural habitat for them. And it actually heals their fins or stress that they have. And lastly, definitely optional, but I definitely think you should have it because if you saw my 10 gallon leakage video, I had a 10 gallon spillage and when I woke up the next day, I just saw my fish lying there with not even a pint of water left. So if I didn't have a 2.5 gallon set up and already cycled, um, she would have dying so always have a spare tank i got it because of the dollar per gallon sale and of course just an extra heater and extra filter so this is obviously it's not necessary but you just never know you might have a tank leakage heater explosion or like filter not working at all so you have to be prepared when you're in that situation so that your fish can be okay so i hope you guys enjoyed watching the video i had really fun filming it so if you guys liked it please give it a thumbs up so until next time bye guys